Effects in Illustrator are a quick and easy way to manipulate shapes. You can use them to do things like apply a drop shadow, warp artwork, and a whole lot more. Using the line artwork in this practice file, you'll see how to apply effects and experiment with variations. If you want to follow along, open a file you have or this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. With your document open, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window so you can see everything. You'll start by applying an effect to artwork in this document. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click this pink circle behind the line in the top row. To apply an effect to artwork in the properties panel to the right of the document, click the effect option to see the effect menu. Then, in this case, choose distort and transform, pucker and bloat. In the dialog box that opens, select preview if it's not already selected so you can see the artwork change. If you need to move the dialog box out of the way so you can see the artwork, drag it by the title bar at the top. Drag this slider left and right to see how it changes the circle. Dragging it to the left will pucker the shape and dragging to the right will bloat it. When you think it looks good, click OK. Now you'll apply a little different effect to other artwork. Click to select this blue circle in the bottom row. To make the circle easier to see and distinguish it from the background, you can apply different effects like a glow or a drop shadow. With the shape selected, in the Properties panel, click the Effect option to see the Effect menu. Then choose Stylize, and you should see the Drop Shadow option, which is an effect a lot of us will use. But in this case, you'll apply Outer Glow because the color of the artwork is a little darker. So choose Outer Glow. In the dialog box that appears, you can change the color of the glow around the shape and the amount of glow. Click the color box to open the color picker. In the color picker, drag in the color spectrum bar and you can choose a color, like maybe a blue. Then click in this color field and you can select an exact color you want. You can see the color you selected here. Then click OK. Select preview if it's not already selected so you can see the change. Try changing the opacity and also the blur. Then click OK when you think it looks good. With an effect applied, you can always edit that effect in the Properties panel. With this shape still selected, you'll see the Outer Glow effect listed in the Properties panel over here. Click Outer Glow to edit the effect properties. Try changing some of the options and see what happens, but make sure Preview is selected. Then click OK. Effects in Illustrator give us a lot of creative and very useful options for our artwork. Now that you know how to apply and edit effects, try exploring by applying different effects to some of the other artwork in this practice file. You can save a copy of this file if you'd like by choosing File, Save As, and make sure you give it a different name, that way you don't overwrite the original practice file.